Looks like this is going to miss just right. And he's safely on the green. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Just didn't drop. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Just one off the lead after that hole. The second of the back nine, par fives, rich 14. There's plenty to it. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. If you find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close. Four victories so far this season. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. Sitting at one under the card. Currently tied for third position. <laughs> this putt is from 14 feet. Got to try and save the par here. This is a good chance. That's well hold. Currently one under for the tournament. The long par three continues to be a feature here at the Copperhead course and 15 is no different. It is. Thankfully, though, this is the flattest green or m one of the flattest greens on the golf course here. It's basically just a long iron down the hill to this flat green, but don't miss it left. That is no good. That's not what they were looking for. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Second shot here on the 15th. Putting for a par now. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. And some kind of fast finish required if they want to win this thing. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. <laughs> this is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. Ah, uh, great shot. From around 140 yards here. He's two shots back. Going with the pitching wedge here. They've decided to club up. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. And only two holes to go afterwards, Luke. Big opportunity. Ah. <sighs> Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. It's a tough tee shot. Plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Bit too heavy handed there. Just putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Oh, that's a clutch par. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. New Zealand's Lydia Ko setting up her next shot. 
It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the snake pit, and this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill, but if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. And what's in front of them there, Henny? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. And this punt for a final score of 69. Ooh. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. And we're all over. Bar the shout. Well, Henny, I feel like we're sitting here with eggs on our faces. We didn't think anyone could knock out Lydia Ko. But what about that performance? No win in the event, but that doesn't really matter when you beat someone of Lydia's stature. Luke, I hate being wrong, so this is a tough pill for me to swallow. But this player challenged Lydia Ko and beat her. This result is going to give them some inspiration towards their huge, big career aspirations. And best of luck to them. I'll never doubt them again. On behalf of Ridge Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.